A coordinator is the best choice for navigation in SwiftUI when you need to manage complex navigation flows while keeping your code organized and maintainable. It allows for greater control over navigation actions, delegation, and stale management, all within SwiftUI's declarative framework. This video will provide you with a step-by-step -step approach to creating a coordinator, ensuring you can seamlessly implement one in your iOS apps. Whether you're new to coordinators or looking to refine your skills, this tutorial simplifies the process and empowers you to take full control of your app's navigation. Today, we are going to talk about tab navigation with the help of coordinators. Before we dive into it, let me remind you about our Black Friday sale. Go ahead and check out the link in the description for a 91% discount. And yes, all of my products are included, uh, the Navigation Coordinator 2 and SwiftUI Camp that is starting in December. So go ahead and check out the link in the description. Okay, so today we are going to add in some tab navigation. This is uh, video number three in the navigation coordinator series and basically the last one. We just make sure that uh, we can navigate uh, easily with a pop and a push and pop. Uh, and uh, we also uh, managed to move data between uh, these views. That was the second video. And finally, today we are going to wrap it up by adding navigation uh, coordinator as a kind of a tab one. So uh, whenever you want to use tabs, which is really common in iOS applications, you want to use this one with a coordinator. So again, uh, go in and check out the link in the description. Uh, navigation coordinator is included in the bundle, the Black Friday sale, or you can just check out my site for navigation coordinator if you know the sale is already uh, uh, over. Okay, so currently we have the navigation route of a walk. And let me just build and run and show you what we have over here. Basically, we are presenting the walk view and uh, inside the walk view, we may present the curling view or the archer view. So here's the archer view in a type of uh, link. We can pop back and the curling view as a sheet and also the pop works exactly the same. So I just want to make this as a tab view. So let's replace this navigation route with some sort of a tab view. And inside navigation coordinator, uh, the actual library, you will find something like, let me just uh, remove this. Uh, we can have a tab navigation route navigation route and uh, uh, we can have a, a selected one and the content so let's just choose uh, the selected destination which one are you going to choose uh, well currently is just walk and then the content will be our navigation route dot walk and then let's uh, add a tab item and uh, inside the tab item let's have an image of uh, system name and not walk. Uh, I will just uh, take out, copy out this from my uh, notes so I don't have any typos. Let's just have uh, that. So figure.walk.circle. Let's build it run again and let's see what has changed. Basically, we would have a one tab uh, navigation, you know, just one as the walk. Now, I also want to add two more. So let's create uh, the views for them. Calling all iOS developers. This Black Friday, unlock the ultimate Swift UI bundle at an incredible 91% discount. Get all my top tools to help you build apps faster and smarter. Plus, exclusive access to Swift UI Camp, my four week live Zoom bootcamp starting December the 2nd, designed to transform you into a Swift UI expert. Valued at $2,280, this entire package is now just $199. Don't wait, this offer is only available for a limited time. Secure your spot now using the link in the description. One is the baseball view. Let's create a new file from template, Swift UI view baseball view and then the other one again a new file from template swift ui view will be yoga view okay so we added these two actual swift ui views now let's update the destination extension so right over here uh, let's duplicate this line and have this as a base ball let's duplicate it command d by the way on the line and then yoga okay uh, let's add in the cases for the actual view case dot baseball 
and that is our baseball view with the destination and the yoga is the same as you can see adding new views to our destination extension it's really really quite simple so uh, let's just uh, go into the yoga view and say hello yoga view so we can have a little bit of distinction and on the baseball view hello baseball view on the content view now we can add in these new ones so uh, I'm just going to remove uh, this uh, line of code and let's start off uh, with the baseball view let's just add this as a base oh sorry not baseball view but navigation route navigation route dot and I'm going to select baseball now please note that the selection on the tab navigation route should be one of the navigation route uh, views that we set up right over here and the other one I'm just going to add it right over here so navigation route and not baseball but yoga okay so uh, let me just grab the tab item too there we go so let's uh, add in our you know custom uh, system image names again I'm going to copy this out so I'm not going to have any issues with it you know typos and then figure dot yoga dot circle for the yoga view there we go let's just paste it in there let's build and run and actually now the second tab should be as the starting point as you can see here we go we have the second tab because the navigation tab navigation route is the walk view if we switch over here we have hello baseball view and hello yoga view of course you may just choose this to be maybe yoga let's just uh, oh with a y okay and then let's build and run again and now of course the yoga view will be the selected initially selected tab uh, inside your application this is all fine and well as you can see it's just a few lines of code and it kind of resembles the native swift ui tab view but now how can we actually navigate between these tab views uh, inside our you know views our uh, container views so i would suggest let's just go into the yoga view and uh, jump let's create a button where we can jump into the baseball view so first of all let's have that button i'm going to have a v stack so uh we don't need to remove that text and then let's have a button title and uh, let's just go switch to baseball view okay and the action is just coming in just a second so if you remember we had an environment available for our navigation so do we have an environment for the tab navigation of course you need to set it up uh, inside the tab navigation route uh, all over these navigation routes and then you have access to it so now on the yoga view I'm just going to access it like so at environment and backward slash dot Oh, I need those two parentheses a backward slash dot again and tab navigation this is uh, what we need and this should be a private var tab navigation now it's easier than ever so we just grab tab navigation and then as you can see we just have a dot switch to and we are going to go dot baseball and basically that's it uh, let me just see uh, let's build and run again as simple as the navigation with a push and bob so uh, we just landed on the yoga view because the selected initial one was the yoga view and then clicking on switch to baseball view we'll just jump to the first tab that which is the baseball view and of course all of these work seamlessly if I just go to the archery view right over here and uh, navigate away to our yoga view inside the tab come back still stays the same even if I just switch to the baseball view uh, you know programmatically it will just stay uh, uh, the same this is really really nice and that's how you can add tab views 
instantly with the help of a navigation coordinator. Now, if you did like this, I recommend that you check out our Black Friday sale. It ends soon, so go ahead and check out the link in the description for a 91% discount, which also has navigation coordinator and Swift UI camp. Go ahead and check it out. It's down in the description.